Hey, yeah, I, what? Yeah, I know the garage tours is about, but I know what you want to do is you want to get out and take a family and go see this great country of ours. I know you told me about it. We're going to find you one. All right. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Live from M60 RV right here in Jones, Michigan. Again, we have our garage doors, which you can step outside of. We're in our beautiful indoor studio here at M60 RV. So if you go outside, just to the right out there, you have M60, which is in Jones, Michigan. And then to the left will be the RVs. That's why it's called M60 RV. Just simple people. I wanted to show you one of our newest additions that we just got in. It is a 2024 24.1 Vegas. Now there's a saying out there about something about Vegas, but you know what on this here, what happens with Vegas stays with Vegas. So it's a great way for you and your family to get out and see this beautiful country of ours. This here is on the Ford chassis with a 7.3 liter V8, which 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds of torque. So plenty of power to get you anywhere that you wanna go and see in this great country of ours. So what you can see, is on the Vegas is you have a unique front cap here. You can see it's kind of like a bus style windshield as to where it'll go up on a radius up there and then take you up to the roof. But you have a nice one piece windshield so that way when you're traveling down the roads in this great country of ours, you can see everything that is out there for you to see. You can also see you have your headlights and your fog lights here in the front. You have your Vegas logo, again, fiberglass, which does have the Estelle backer, so that way it'll help the longevity of the coach, keep from any water damage or anything of that nature. So we come on around, we're here on the side, you have your side mirrors right here. Again, you have your nice driver's side window right there with the nice big window that you can open up with the screen. You also see here that you have your side cameras. So what do the side cameras do for me? Well, anytime we turn on our turn signal, it'll come down here and show you down the side of the coach. So that way you don't have any blind spots. So if you're changing lanes or whatever it may be, or when you're backing in, you can see everything. So here in the first compartment right here, we have some storage right there is all lined in the ABS for you so it's going to be very easy for you to clean and take care of. On the Vegas here, the 2024-24.1, you have 63.5 cubic feet of storage. So that way when you're out and about, you're wanting to get some great souvenirs, whatever it may be, guess what? You put it all in here. Then in this compartment here, we have our 40 pounds of LP. That LP will help you run your hot water heater and then help you with your cooking and your heat. Hey, okay. it'll help. It'll help. Yeah. I mean, because that way it'll heat the food. Okay. See, Mr. Cameraman. Okay. You have another compartment right there, which I believe will probably be the batteries. We'll go back to this compartment. We found the uh, magic keys. It's your dump. And then right here you have your dump station. Okay. So what you can see here, this here will have the black lever. So that's going to be for your black tank. And then back there you have your gray lever. So that's for your gray tank. Another way you can tell is the gray tank will always have the smaller pipe. The black tank will always have the bigger pipe there for you. Then underneath there is where you can take and hook up your hose and then run it down for when you get to the dump station. So again, it's very easy. It and it does swivel right there, which Mr. Cameraman is showing to you. But as part of the security feature, what we have here is all of these doors here do have locks on them then for you, okay? So right here, it's essential. Yes, then right here, this is access to your water compartments, right there. Then here you have your outside shower, so that way when you get done with the day, you're out hiking, you're out on the beach, whatever it may be, you can take here, spray off your feet, clean the fish, whatever it is, you can do it all right there. Then here you have your city water connection, so that way when you get to the park, you can take your water hose, hook right up to there, and then that'll supply the fresh water for you. Now if you're just dry camping, if you're out and about, you do have 42 gallons of fresh water, 40 gallons of gray, and then 30 gallons of black, okay? The fresh water is your potable water, the gray water is what comes out of the sink and the showers, and then the black water is what comes out of the stool. Then right here, you have your 30 amp cord, which is all sealed for you right here. So that way when you get to the park, you can plug in, okay? Then right here, another nice feature they do for you is this light right here. So as long as this light's on when you're plugged in, you know that you're getting power from the source. If not, then you're not getting power, so you can go talk to the park and say, why am I paying for power? I'm not getting it, okay? But there, then here, if you get to the park and say they offer cable, or if you wanna bring along one of your portable satellites, you can hook up right here, okay? Then right here is for your black water tank flush. So what you do at the end of the trip when you're getting ready to dump is you take the water hose here, hook up here, 
and then open up your black water tank valve and then that'll have little sprayers in there which will help clean out the tank so you don't get any false readings and back here you have your 55 gallon fuel fill right here okay and then here look at this storage that we have through here you do have this door right here a nice little feature you have right here is you have this little catch right here so when you take the door and put it up it'll stay in place but look at all of the storage that you have through there fishing poles lawn chairs put a little mattress in there if the high wife or the significant other gets upset with you place to sleep okay but you got plenty of room to put everything under there nice thing that i like to point out we'll come back to the back here but look on this side on the patio side they've lined it with the abs so multi-purpose what can you do well we can put some ice in there put some pops some beers whatever it may be right there have a little tailgate okay so this is a perfect coach for the couples that are out there. You got the kids that are in the traveling leagues or whatever it may be. This way you've got room to store all of their gear. Or if you just want to go out and see your kids as they're out and about in college, another great way to do it. Okay, then back here, what we have is this here is where you'll have your generator. It's a 4,000 watt generator. So if you're dry camping or if you're, again, you're at the, the park with the kids, you're out just visiting the kids at college, whatever it is, you don't have any place to plug in, turn your generator on. That'll power everything on the inside of the coach so that we can run right off of your fuel line. Again, the 55 gallons, as long as you have more than about a, more than an eighth of a tank, it'll allow you to run your generator so that we can power everything. If you get below that, it won't allow you to do it so that you don't run out of fuel. See that you have your tail lights back here for you. You have your nice LED light up on the top. Then up there, you can see that you do have your backup camera. So that way, when you're traveling, you can see what's back here. Or when you're going to back up, you can see what's going on. Also back here, you have an 8,000 pound hitch. So that way, if you want to tow your toad or you want to tow another trailer, whatever it is, you can do it right there. And then with the backup camera, you'll be able to see what's going on. You have your seven way plug right there. And then right there, we have, what are you pointing at, Mr. Cameraman? jacks stabilizer jacks okay so on the inside when you get to your destination you can take those jacks put them down and that way it will stabilize the coach so that way you're not rocking as you're going then back here you do have your ladder so that way you can get up to your roof you also notice that you do have the nice little runoff on the roof so that we don't have any flat spots mr cameraman you want to go up there and show them what's up on top you can see your antenna which is 4g and wi-fi for you Okay, and then you have your 15,000 air conditioner up there on the top, 12 year warranty on the roof, although once a year you do want to go up and check for your seals and different things of that nature just to make sure that everything's good. So you do have some maintenance that you have to do in order to take care of everything. So we come on to the back to the other side here. We're already over here, but again, place if you decide you want to have a cooler right there. Another nice thing I like to point out, look, you have the frameless windows all the way around. So what a couple things it does for you. Number one, it gives it a good look, okay? But number two, you'll notice that you don't have any of your seals exposed for your windows. So that way it's gonna help for the longevity again of the seals. But you also have what we call the jealousy windows. So these windows will open up out this way. So if it is raining, you can still open up your windows and get a nice airflow on the inside. You have your patio awning right there for you. Okay, which I'll show you on the inside. It's kind of innovative what they have. You have a true command center where it'll absolutely do everything for you on the coach. Right here, this is your gravity fill. Again, remember I told you if you're not hooked up to the city water, you come here and you fill up your fresh water tank, which is 42 gallons right there. Turn your water pump on and then you have your water source right there. You have your tankless hot water heater right here. So you don't have to worry about running out of hot water. Just go ahead, have a good time in the shower. Right there, you do have your LP gas quick connect, which will run off of the LP that is on the other side. So if you want to do a grill or whatever it may be, you can just hook up right here. And again, it'll be underneath your patio awning. And then right there, you'll see you do have your LED lights under here. So you can have the lights. Come out here with the family, talk about all the great things that you just saw, the great things that you're going to do with your family and create those great memories. Again, part of the 63.5 cubic foot of storage on the outside plug-ins right here for you the vegas is on the more ride chassis so that way they do take the chassis and then extend it and then that way they make sure that it is exactly within one one hundredth of an inch from the front to the back okay again we're at m60 rv the great outdoors for less m60rv.com 
Here's our phone number, 269-707-9220. Or you can just text us as well, too. Okay? That one's locked. Now, this one here is a storage compartment for you, which, again, we do have the key right here. Is it this key? Yep. There you do have some more storage right there. Okay? And, again, here's your side camera on the passenger side or the patio side. Okay? So, again, when you turn on your turn signal, that'll show you exactly what's down on the side of the coach. Okay? So, would you like to take a look inside? Well, of course we would, okay? Again, you have your door right here. Then right when you're coming in, you do have your batteries for your house are right here underneath the step. So if you ever need to work on the batteries, very accessible right there for you. Then here, you have your battery on off switch. So that way when you're using a coach, you want to turn it to the on. When you're going to store it, just turn it to the off and that'll help for the longevity of the batteries for you for the house side, okay? So we come on inside, we mentioned earlier, right here we have our control panel, okay? You can go to home right here. Okay, there's home. Or I'm on the water pump. So right here, it'll tell me for the water pump. Do I wanna, it tells me exactly where I'm at. My fresh water tank is empty. My gray tank's empty. My black tank's empty, okay? You can turn on the tank heater. So if we get in cold weather, those tank heaters will kick on and keep your water tanks from freezing up for you. Then right here, we have the control for the awnings, okay? Then we can also remember on the back there, we showed you for the stab jacks. So I can do the controls right here. I wanna raise them, or if I wanna lower them, we can do the awning right here, okay? So here it says extend. Just hit and hold down the extend. Okay, just hit it. Once it gets going, you can let it go. Then it'll automatically take the awning out for you. So as you can see, you're gonna have a nice little patio area. So at the end of the day, you get done, you bring your lawn chairs out here. Maybe you wanna set a TV out here or don't bring a TV out. Just sit out and talk amongst yourselves. Tell everybody everything that you saw. Let's see how this awning then comes all the way out. There you have your awning lights. Let me turn those on for you. Go to my awning control here. Flip on my awning light right there. I want to turn on my step well light. Do it here. My cargo lights. Okay, so there now we have the awning all the way out for you. So you can see the awning. A couple of nice things that this does to do for you is it does have a shake awning. So if it gets out and it's windy, you're inside the coach, or whatever it is that bounces a couple of times, it'll automatically bring the awning back in for you. So you don't have to worry about it. Mr. Cameraman's going to show us here. See that there? So now that awning's going to automatically come in. So we showed you that. Now we first come in again. We do have our countertop extension right here. Okay. And again, I'll go over, I kind of missed you guys when you weren't here, but here I do have for my lights. So I turned on all the lights that were inside of the coach. There's where we did the awnings and the stab jacks. Then here I can do my climate. So say if I want to set it for the air conditioner, turn the furnace on, whatever it is, I control everything right here. Then here we have the lights. And here we have the generator. This will tell me what the levels of my battery batteries for the coach as well as for the chassis. And it'll tell me where my LP tank as well. I can start and stop the generator. This does have the auto generator start. It's that way if I want to set it for temperature, I want to set it for time, I can do it right here. It'll automatically kick the generator on. If your batteries get low, charge them up for you. Turn the air on for the pup or the cats or the pets, whatever it is that you have in here. And turn the generator off right from there. Then here's where I have for my fans that are in my kitchen. And then I also have one in the bath and I can turn them on all right from there. So come on in, Mr. Cameraman. 
So as we walk in, what I wanted to show you is, look, this is what it looks like with the slide in. So look, I have room that we can get to anything that we need to get to. I can get to my kitchen area, I can get to my cook area, I can get to the refrigerator, I can get back here to the bedroom, I can get to my bath area, okay? So even as we're going down the road, we can get to everything that we need to get to. So now we get to our destination and we want to go ahead and we put the slide out. So again, we come back here to our control center. Okay, but one thing you do have to do in order for the slide to work, come here, turn it on. So that way you have power and you're not reducing your battery time. And then you turn on your emergency brake. Okay. And then another nice thing I want to show you is look at this right here. Look right there, how many miles it has on it. 75 miles. So why is that important? And then this is an M60 RV exclusive. When you're out shopping around, just go ahead and ask whoever the salesperson is. Say, hey, listen, I would like to see that Vegas 24.1 with 75 miles on it. What you're going to experience next, just so I let you know, it's a public service announcement, is long forms of silence and staring around. It probably looks somewhat like this. Okay, they don't have an answer. It's an M60 RV. It's the only place you can get that done. Under 100 miles. The first person to put the very important miles on this coach, not somebody who gets paid to go from point A to point B. Did they sleep in it? Did they smoke in it? Did they have pets in it? Did they use the restroom? Did they do the proper break-in procedure? So they're all great, great questions you can ask somebody. So there's just some things to think about. So again, we've got the motor on here. So now we want to go ahead and we want to put the slide out. So now what you also see is, look, this thing here will give you little yellow indicators telling you, hey, I've got my motor on. I've got everything else on. I can't do the awnings. I can't do the stab jacks. But what I can do is I can do my slide. Take care. Push a button. What you need to do for it to go out is you need to hit extend, not retract. So I hit retract. So when you hit retract, it won't do anything. But if you hit extend, it goes on and puts it on out here for you. Okay. So now look at all the room that we have. Okay. So now look at all the space we have here in our kitchen area. Plenty of place for you to get out and move around. You'll notice right here you do have a place you can set up a kitchen table right here. This will fold down and make into a bed for you. Then up here, you do have some storage up here and up there. Again, these are the jealousy windows I was telling you about. Just open them up this way. That way the windows will open up and you can get some airflow. And just close them this way. Then right here, you have your nightshade. Okay, you can just pull down there for you. So that way you can block out anything when you're ready to go to sleep. On either side then too as well, you do have a connections for, for chargers for your phones right there. And then up here, Another nice thing that you have in the front, you might say, hey, is that all the sleeping space we got? Well, no, we have more. So let's find it here. Okay, so we've come here to our control center again, and now we want to lower our bunk. Just hit lower. And look. A hidden beauty, a hidden little feature. It pops down as you're going down the road. You decide you need some extra sleeping space. You just lower this down right here. Then here you have sleeping space. So up here you can sleep two more people. So you can sleep two, one adult right there, two kids, and then you got two more in the back. So you can sleep up to six as long as there's two kids or part of the six or five if you have the five adults. Okay, so two up here, one here, and then two in the back. Okay, then you do have right here, you'll notice in the front right there for you, what we do have is a little space right there. We have a little table that will go in right there. These chairs do swivel around, make part of the living area. So at the end of the day, say it's raining, it's the end of the night, turn this around. You got a nice little conversation area right here for you. Okay, then there you have all your controls. There's where your backup camera is. And then also for your radio right there. Here on the 15K air conditioner, which you'll see you have the air ducts up here on the top and then back there in the bedroom. And then here you do have the quick cool. So if it's real hot, you can just open this up. 80% of the air will come out of here, close these, and then the air will go back through the system itself. Here's where you can change the filters. 
Okay, we get into our kitchen area. Here we have the cover for our sink. Nice big round sink here for you with a high-rise faucet with a pull-out sprayer. Okay, here you do have some more plug-ins, which you can pull up right there. Okay, then when you're not using them, just take them here, push that little button, and then it goes back down into its place. Two windows right there for you. And here, you have a place for your trash can. Nice little storage drawer there. Look at the quiet closed doors there. You don't have to shut them. Just get to a certain spot. They go the rest of the way in. Nice big pots and pans drawer there. Here's for your convection oven. Your two burner cooktop up here on the top, which will run right off of the LP. This will act as the backsplash for you. Okay. You have some storage up here. You do have some plug-ins right there if you do have the satellite for you. Do it right there. Two more plug-ins there. Then here... You have your freezer, then you have your refrigerator right there, okay? Then this here, four apps all in one membership, one for a year with an RV purchase will get you to the Campadium, the Road Trippers, the RV Village, and to go RV, which the first year Thor will supply that for you then. Okay. So right here, you can see we have some hanging space right here. Remember I told you about the table that's up there in the front between the driver and the passenger seat? Here's that. There's your ladder, so that way you can get at to the bunk in the top. And then these are your legs right here for the kitchen, for the table right there. Okay. Then here we have some more drawers. More drawers there. Then right here, you open this up and this will come into your bathroom. Come on back here, Mr. Cameraman. See that there? Door will come. Okay. And then it makes the area there. And then you open up this door. And then here, now look at the whole bathroom area that we have right here. So this way, when you're at your destination, you want to do your shower, get ready for the day. Right here, you have your bathroom sink. You have your shower right there, which you do have the skylight up above. Place where you can turn your water off and on, so that way you're not wasting any of your fresh water if you're dry camping. Here's where you have your lights. Okay. And there is for your fan right there if you want to turn it on manually. But remember, we can do it up front. And right here, we have some more storage up top. Okay, and then right here we have our stool right there, okay, which is a porcelain stool, so it's going to be very easy to clean for you with the foot flush, your toilet paper holder right there, okay, so now we're going to, we're done getting ready for the day, I'm going to come in, I'm going to look at everything, now we're back here in the back, so back in the back, we have a couple options which we can do back here, okay, here we have it set up where we don't have the cushions down, but right now you have twin beds, on either side so you can sleep here and then you do have these cushions which you can put down and then put in between the bed and then here it'll make a king bed for you so you can use it either way you can use it as twins or you can use it as a king bed versatility and back here is for your controls for your tankless hot water heater here you do have the bedroom tv then here you do have your little control right here which you can turn your living room all of your lights on right here start the generator right from here turn your lights off and on all right from the bedroom so if the power goes out you don't need to get up and go to the front of the coach you could just come right back here in the bedroom turn your generator on repower everything up then there you have some storage up top okay some more storage back here and then storage here and here okay then here you do have the nightshades in the back so at the end of the day you want to get some privacy just pull down the nightshades and you have it all right there for you okay so we're in the back again what is this it's a 2024 24.1 vegas what happens with the vegas stays with the vegas again at m60 rv you come in as strangers you leave as friends we also like to give you the great outdoors for less you might say hey how can you get a hold of us well, we're at m60rv.com. You can drop us a note right there. Tell us what you'd like to see. We have our YouTube channel. We're on just about all of the social medias that are out there. Okay. Or you can give us a call, which we will show on the bottom, our phone number, which we did go over on the back. So that we can give us a call, see what's going on. Or text. Or text. It'll text you right from the phone number. Mr. Cameron is very proud of that. He loves texts. So you can just text him and say, hey, Mr. Cameron, what's going on? It'll be right there. So again, Come in as strangers, leave as friends. And what is important about this coach? What is with an M60 RV exclusive? It's under 100 miles. Only place in the country you can find that. If you're still here, thanks for watching.
Oh, the price. You want to know a sale price? Well, of course we do. And listen, I spoke with this coach. He is so excited for you and your next family to get in this. And let's go see the great country of ours. Remember, the MSRP was $173,978. M60 RV price. What would that be? Well, it's going to be $108,737. Yeah, $737. Why do we have the sevens on there? Because it's Vegas, baby. Let's roll. Look forward to seeing you.